Okay, so our second video in the series on weather and climate is going to deal with solar intensity and latitude. So it's arguable that all the world's weather is, um, is due to the sun and the rays from the sun that travel to the earth. And the amount of solar energy that hits the earth is latitude dependent. And we refer to this phenomenon as insulation. So the amount of, um, basically, a measure of how many sun rays are hitting the earth at a given, um, in a given latitude is what we refer to as insulation. So you can see here, the tropical areas, so areas that are near the equator, um, and below the tropic of, below or above the tropics, um, these areas are heated more quickly due to the sun rays having to travel a shorter distance to reach a particular point of land. And you can see here that not only is it a shorter distance, but it's also the amount of sun rays are concentrated on a bare, on a much smaller area compared to the polar regions. So that's why generally the tropics are warmer than the polar regions. And yeah, you can see it's the exact opposite, right? So um, as the sun rays are traveling through the atmosphere, they have a larger area to cover to actually reach the land. Um, and so as a result, they, um, the sun's rays spread out more and they cover a larger area, which means that um, a particular place won't be as warm as a, pol as a tropical region. So here are some important latitudes to consider, and over the course of the climate videos, we'll be explaining to you why these are important. So we can start here, right at the middle, with the equator. The equator is situated at zero degrees. It's a sort of line that the transverse um, line around the Earth, and that basically divides the, the um, divides the Earth into the northern and the southern hemispheres. And now. The next important sets of lines, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. These are situated at 23.5 degrees north and 23.5 degrees separately. Basically within the bands of the Tropics of Cancer and Capricorn, we have the tropical areas. And then the following that we have, we're moving up or I guess down. We also have um, the Arctic and the Antarctic circles. And these are situated at 66 degrees north and 66 degrees south, um, respectively. Basically, the Arctic Circle is a line around the polar region. So everything north of that becomes, or everything north and everything south of that become the polar regions. Basically, this line indicates um, areas on anything sort of above or below that are lines, um, are places on the Earth where there will be at least a day without any sunlight. So that's why those two um, uh, those two latitudes are important to consider as well. So we can see what happens as we all probably know the earth tilts. It's not stationary along its orbit around the sun. It tilts on its axis and this is essentially what gives us um, gives us seasons. So we can see here, this is the June solstice, so the summer solstice. And basically, at the June solstice, that's um, where areas in the Northern Hemisphere will experience their longest day. Um, and areas in the Southern Hemisphere will um, experience, their, uh, experience their shortest night. You can see here, the June solstice tends to be, so at the Arctic Circle, everything north of that will have places where um, We'll have places where uh, there's complete daylight for 24 hours, not 24 hours, but um, maybe a little bit less or less than that. But essentially the June solstice is when the Northern Hemisphere gets its peak insulation. So the, the amount of sun rays that are hitting the Northern Hemisphere are at their highest and the amount of sun rays hitting the Southern Hemisphere are at the lowest. And yeah, this diagram just shows the exact opposite. So December solstice, it's when the Antarctic areas in the Antarctic region receive the most sunlight and areas in the Arctic circle receive the least. And so this is, as I mentioned earlier, very closely linked to the idea of seasons. So remember the 
Degrees of uh, latitude for the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn were around 23.5. And basically this is important because the Earth has a tilt on its axis of about 23.5 degrees. Um, and that's why we have those lines there that sort of indicate um, those tropical regions. And the result of this tilt is basically differing amounts of solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface. So in North America, during the June solstice, that tends to be summer. So temperatures are warmer generally, um, as opposed to when we look at um, the climate in December, it tends to be colder just because we're receiving less insulation from the sun. And it's the um, exact opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. And that's it.